And how long have you been single now? I think three years now. I think I'm too nice. Oh. I know. And then when I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to let anybody walk all over me. That's yeah. it. I didn't, I didn't see anybody ever then. That's a wig. That's a wig. Okay. Why would you wear a wig to? Uh, 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 but then again, I used to be like that. To be like, I always used to be like, when I first started my dress, I was like, oh yeah, you know, you shouldn't have uh, texturizer or wigs and stuff like that. And sometimes there's a reason why the people got wigs. When I, I got more into hair and stuff like that, people shouldn't should mind their business and not ask why people have what they have on their head because okay. there might be some shit. It's like when people ask me why why you this old. And you don't have kids. And then I used to reply, well, me and my girl, we can't have kids. And it felt super bad. I'm like, no, 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 no. Hold that hell. It's not true. But see how you feel? You should mind your business. It's so weird because um, I always like say it to people like straight away. I don't have any hair. I wear a wig. Okay. This is going to freak. You came over at the wrong time. <laughs> I'm clapping for me, nigga. Oh, because you feel like you feel good about your guests? From what I know, just say it. Alopecia. Oh. I'm going to say it. Oh, wow. Why do you wear a wig? I've got um, alopecia, um, so my hair just it just falls out. <laughs> Cop, you're no longer a wizard. I'm the wizard now, V. <laughs> you're a wizard, preach. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, okay, shit. Harry. All right, there. Joining Hogwarts. <laughs> Let's go. So, what are you? Slytherin. I'm Slytherin. Come yeah. on. Come on. You Slytherin? What am I? Awful puff? Awful puff? Awful puff? What did you say? Awful puff. Awful. The guy said awful puff. Look at me. I'm awful. <laughs> Suit you. But um, yeah. I've like thrown you off guard now, haven't I? <laughs> That's so a bit like... It's like a shock. It's like, yeah. oh my god. It's so annoying to put back on. Keep it, keep it off. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, this is probably like the weirdest date you've ever been on. The best date I've been on. <laughs> I like it. It's unique. Oh, yeah, he's so sweet. Aww. Yeah. Oh, you, you're unique. Ah, oh, look at you, you big bear. I don't think I've ever been treated right. I do think that boys use me because they think I've got nothing else going for me, you know? Because they just think, oh, she's got no hair, she can't get anybody else. People lie to me quite a lot. I find it really hard to trust. I like it. Yeah, good. Really nice. That's nice to hear. It's good to hear. <laughs> yeah, I think she finds me. I'm looking forward to seeing her again, hopefully. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving it his back. Amazing. Don't put it on. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'm more beautiful with that. So you can see each other again? Yeah. Um, I'd like to see you again. For sure. <laughs> I think romantically, I don't feel like it was there for me. Um. Shut it off, it's hard to watch. Every time she was answering, she was like, hmm, getting away. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you had this whole story about her like being seen as unattractive because she's bald and you know she never meets nice guys, and the moment she's kind to people, they run away. And here you have a guy who's like super kind to her, and she's just like, mm. it's not working for me. You're such a nice guy, open, warm kind of person, so it's nice, it's refreshing. Really? Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. I'm not used to nice guys. Yeah. So um, for me, it's... It's why push me away. It was strange. Don't know. Ooh! Got a little, Get it, boy! Got a little toxic at the end. <laughs> a little sting while you push him toxic. away. You push him away. Oh. So, I mean... Even his response was, was, wasn't was the best, you know what I mean? If a girl says, no, just walk away. Don't question why. Or, no. If a girl tells you, I'm not interested, don't ask why. Leave. That's you Because they're rarely going to be able to tell you why. Because sometimes they don't even know themselves. And so whatever answer you're hoping to get is just going to confuse you. Walk away. Take your L. Uh, I'm going to take an L to go. <laughs> and you take it. You put it in a bag. 
And then you heat it up whenever you get home and you get hungry. Yeah, this broth's goofy. That's funny. But a lot of people are like that. They're like, I want this, I want this. They get that and they're like, ugh. That's not what I want. And it's just funny to watch. But it's like this saying... This was such like a new redemption arc and all that stuff. And at the end of it, she's just like... She did to him what, what dudes did to her. But the thing that happened is like, what she want... It's like the way she went about things, right? And she answers the question. And when most people answer the question, it's like... Oh, I want spicy food. All right, cool. Here's uh, chicken bindaloo. Man, that's that's not exactly what I meant by chick by 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 spicy. I was more thinking, you know. So when they get what they ask for, they don't want it because it's too broad. It's too. Mm. There's other levels to this, you know. Chicken bindaloo is kind of you know, kind of out there. So if we, yeah, it's not ready for that spice, and she was not ready for that kind of kindness. Mm. She just wanted to shock the motherfucker, and then she didn't. It looked like she wanted to shock the guy. I'm going to go here with a plan. I'm going to shock him. Boom, bop. Take my wig off. And didn't get the response that he, you know what I mean? So He's, he's like, yeah, sure. I, I think people can intellectually want something, but then what they want viscerally is just different. You know? It's like, it's like you ever seen people who are like, I want a good boyfriend, but then they just keep dating toxic dudes? It's like, mm -hmm. whatever. Sometimes it's conditioning. And when sometimes get it's trauma. Sometimes it's just bad feedback loops where you associate love and affection with negative stimuli. You know, it's possible. It's that, or maybe it's possible that she just looked at this dude and she's like, I'm not attracted to this guy. And then she said it's because of other things. Who knows? I just thought it was interesting that people talk about, like, for me, it's like really personality first. And I'm really personality oriented. And I need a really kind person. But then when you find time and time again, and what kind dudes uh, encounter is that when they're overly nice, um, women tend to curl away from that. And it's kind of like... Um, I think that when it comes to niceness, for quite a lot of people, if you are too nice, you are seen as weak. Yes. Definitely. Of course. They, they, it's like, it's like people like kind people with a little bit of sense of danger. Right? So like, if you look at like Disney characters, like, uh. Like Aladdin, kind of person, but also a thief. But Beauty it, and the Beast, kind monster. You know it, what I'm the, saying? The thing, or you take the Hunchback of Notre Dame. There you go. It's basically a freak monster, uh, but also extremely kind. Those are the archetypes of like how we've taught young women to like look for in other people, right? That bad boy with a sock, re, 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 redeemable heart. There's always that redemption arc where like. The woman comes in and basically saves the man from his demons and turns him into a committed man who can be dangerous when necessary, but is really kind. It, it, it's that same trope. So it, you, I see it all the time in dating. It's just like dudes with a little bit of a troubled past. Girls love to try to fix that and go for that. Mm. So um, it's just it's just interesting to see those patterns. This is not me meant to be an educational video or anything like that. It's just like peep game. This thing is common. And just because they say they want something doesn't mean that that's all they're looking for or that's the most important thing. The thing that happened is that when women, they want, they want bad guys. It's really just because a bad guy comes with qualities. They assert themselves more. They, they take more decisions. They, when you too kind and you don't want to take space and you just, you know, I'm going to let you do your thing. And, oh, my God, you're so nice today. And I don't want to disrupt you. And it's, it, it's, 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 mm. look like a pushover. So, the point of this video is not to tell her she has to date this dude or no, needs to. The point is, when you say you want something, but you keep dating the opposite, at some point you have to question yourself. And what are you doing to attract that? And what are you doing to push away the dudes that you claim you want? A lot of us play into our negative, oh, I keep attracting fuckboys. Uh, maybe there's something about you that draws them to you. Or maybe there's something about you that makes you keep thinking that. Right? So, just question yourself. Why do you draw these type of people or one type of people or anything like that? That's what she claimed. She claimed she dropped, kept drawing one type of woman, uh, one type of man. Yeah. There's something to say about that. So, and it, it was just interesting to watch. That's all I did. And it's really weird because whenever people are like, I attract one, one type of people, one type of people. And I'm like, no, you say yes 
to one type of people. That's right. You left one type of people because you attract a whole bunch of people. You end up what you end up with. Oh, that's something different. At the end of the process, what you end up with. So whenever you swipe in your mind, yes, 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 no, yes, yes, no, yes. What you end up with is what you attracted. Mm -hmm. You attracted a whole pool, but you said no to other people. Yep. So saying that the only thing that I attract is this, it's not genuine. It's not real. It's not true. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So we want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about the video that you saw and some of the stuff that we said? Do you agree or disagree? We want to see your comments in the links below. So check that out. Also, we noticed that half of you, 50% of you are still not subscribed. Say that again. It's a mistake. You're watching. You're not hitting the sub button, but we're making the content. You're already watching. Hit the sub button. Make our ego feel good the way we make your eyes feel good. Might as well. You know what I'm saying? Reciprocity. It's a feel good, feel good situation. What's that? That was very boy. Reciprocity. Mm. You want to think about that? Good. Hit the button. Check out our Discord. Get that money. Get that paper. To the cheese moolah. Mi morena, tan rico que se ve Mi morena, mira como mueve Mi morena, mira como goza Mi morena, mira como goza